So this is Tank Teresa can do my hair. And yeah. I'm about to F her up. <laughs> and now look. No. She can't oh do that, y'all. Hey you guys, it's your girl Certified Touch. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have y'all, one of y'all favorite YouTubers. It's your girl Kiana J. Y'all you know period. Period. The biggest, the baddest. Yeah. <laughs> and the biggest, best hairstylist in Houston. I don't want to hear none of that. Like, please. Period. She's the best in Houston. So book her. Yep. Mm. And she was actually my first client in Houston I when I came out here. Yeah. Me. So I've been doing your hair for what? Almost a two year. years. Yeah. A, it's been a year? It's been a year. June of next year will be two years. So today we'll be asking Kiana some questions. Do my hair is this bald headed. <laughs> <laughs> I got hair, y'all. I got hair. <laughs> You know the ones that don't got hair for real, they be like, yeah, I got hair. Just in the <laughs> I got hair. Stop. Add a clip in here. Show my hair. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Y'all, <laughs> that's, that's, that's my neck hair. Y'all know I got hair. Yeah. They go to the middle of my back. Come, friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Friend, tell them I got hair. Tell them I got hair. Get you want to say hi? Her little head. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Ilani. That's my Aries twin. So we about to install this wig on Kiana. Y'all should have seen the way Kiana messed the lace up. <laughs> Y'all, I came here to lace up the color of my shirt. <laughs> so girl, she's not lying. So we really had to scrub the um, lace with bleach and baking soda. <laughs> and she got it back. She got it back. I had that be their problems. Like they be thinking I'm a, I'm God or something. <laughs> she is. The hands is magic. Certified touch, literally. I know Kiana, she really like her wigs very low, where it like touch her eyebrows. No. No, don't lie. Teresa. Don't lie. Teresa. Don't lie. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh okay, wait, one way I do like my, my lace is bald. I like a bald yes, lace. Yes, she be wanting me to look a lot. And I like a super tight wig to where I have a headache. Like, oh, I want she want her oh. eyebrows to be like. Exactly, <laughs> she knows me. Oh. I want a snatch look, a bald frontal. Oh. And we good. So Teresa posted questions on her Instagram for y'all to ask me and Neek. And then I also posted some on my Instagram so y'all can ask me. And y'all also asked my um, hairstyle some questions too. Y'all should see my daughter. She's <laughs> acting a fool. Girl, come on. Go. Go there. <laughs> look yeah, at my daughter. Climbing. Show her. Shani, look at her. Y'all look at her. Look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, is different. very. Different. She's acting a fool, right, Kiana? Did she eat breakfast? Yes. <laughs> Go with her. Did you feed this child? Yes, I did. She was just, oh, she had a whole meal. She had Chick fil A. Yolani, today is different. I don't know this, Yolani. She's just having a ball. Like, <laughs> yes, like why is she climbing on there? Look at her. Is that her little purse? Yes, it's so cute. Oh, is she acting look at like her. a rascal? Look, Yolani, look. You on YouTube. Look at you. Look at you. Look, <laughs> just bad. But um, before we start this video, I have wanted to ask a question. I'm gonna ask you, Emmy. What is your mental status right now? My mental status? Um, hmm, it's crazy. My manager asked me that same question today. Yeah. I'll say my mental status is like I'm cool. I was like in a depressive state when I was like recovering from surgery. I yeah. feel like we all go through that. But right now, I'm cool. I'm just cool. I ain't like depressed or anything. You're just being like a cool, like neutral area. Where it's like, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> when people going through like mental problems, like everyone have different ways of coping. Yeah, with it. Yeah. Cause me, like my mental status right now is not at its best. Cause like I very like I kind of distance myself from a lot of people, like my close friends and family members and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what I realize about you though, and I and I love that about you. Like whatever you going through, you never let that get between. Oh, yeah. You know, you still be having like you don't know. You will not know yeah. unless I ask. Yeah. Like, oh, are you okay? It's like, damn. Yeah, that's good though. I remember one day I was doing a YouTube video at the studio with my team. I was doing a Q&A and somebody was like, how's your mental? Y'all, I started breaking down. Like, yeah. I just went to the bathroom and so I can't do this today. Like, I just went home. Can I just be putting on this, like, you would just, yeah. you would never know. But right now, I'm cool. Before we install this um, wig, you guys, I use Ghost Bond XL. There's different um, types of Ghost Bond. There's Ghost Bond Premium. Really? There's re yeah, there's regular Ghost Bond, and I just love Ghost Bond XL because I tried all of them. Ghost Bond XL dries faster. What I tell people to get like a neater look, 
when you um place your wig after gluing um letting your glue dry like you really have to let your glue dry completely clear no white if not when you apply that wig it's gonna be so cakey and you can see the white glue through the lace and that's really ugly i used to do that Oops. yeah so you really just gotta let the glue dry it don't take that long and when you put the glue you really gotta smooth it out like flat make sure it's no bubble no lumps no nothing <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I've been doing her hair for like a little minute now, and I still would ask her, is it okay and where I place okay. it? <laughs> so just to make sure, because Kiana's picky. I don't give her a hard time. You don't give me a hard time, but you're picky. And I love that. I That's love my picky um, clients. My hair got to be just like. Lace got to be good quality. Yes. Quality hair has to be good. All of y'all that's sending my girl hair, make sure Please. the quality is good. Don't just be Please. sending my girl some bullshit that's gonna be shedding like a poodle. Exactly. Don't be doing it. Period. Like, when y'all send me wigs, I actually wear the wig. I'm not one of those ones that put it on, take a picture, and take it off. No, I actually wear the wig. So I appreciate the yeah. good quality. And Kiana love getting her hair done. Mm -hmm. Y'all, if she could sit in my chair every day, she would. I would. And it's crazy because I've been like this since a little girl. I think I get it from my mom. I used to switch my hairstyles up like every day when I was high. Every day. And that's good. So self care actually make you feel good. Make you look good mm -hmm. self-care is really important it's i think very important all girls women whatever you consider yourself as you should keep up your with yourself every day like get your nails done get your hair done not only when you're in a relationship or yeah, when you just oh got God. out of a relationship i feel like you should really keep yourself together that's mandatory oh, that's keeping your hair done every two weeks your nails and your feet done it don't matter if you a stay home wife mother keep or you a teacher up. you a doctor whatever you is like keep yourself up i used to get in trouble too like if my nails wasn't done as a little girl if i didn't have a lip gloss i did i still get in trouble y'all like my mom would be on my ass i feel like that's part of the reason why i am the way i am now like I always keep my nails done, I always keep my hair done, I always keep my lashes done. It's something on my yeah. lips. So my mom do not play that. Yeah, and that's good. Mm -hmm. And all and it always start from home too. So mm -hmm. that's really good. <laughs> okay, I have my own questions. I wanted to ask Kiana. Big booty T T. Yeah. <laughs> heavy y'all. <laughs> it's real heavy. I'm trying to get like that. Okay, one question I wanted to ask Kiana is being an influencer, right? Mm -hmm. And all eyes on you at all times do you feel like you have to get your body done you have to keep up with like how your teeth look and do sometimes do you feel like insecure and be like damn this is not enough i feel like i gotta get more surgery oh that's a good one before i answer this i don't want to influence girls out there feel like they need to get stuff done or in order to be accepted onto social media you have to get a bbl you have you don't have to do that if you're if you're comfortable in your body, you feel like your body's fine, your teeth's fine, whatever, don't go and force yourself to get surgery. With me, I don't want to say I was insecure and stuff like that, but being in, you know, like she said, all eyes on me and stuff like that, I felt like I did have to invest in my look. I feel like when you invest in your look, you make more money. Like when I got my body done, I had got to deal with I'm not going to say that. When I got my body done, I had got certain deals with certain people. I was getting booked more and stuff like that. And I was making more money. But with my body, like, I always never had a butt. I always had a nice shape, but I never had a butt. And I always wanted to get that fixed. It's not like, oh, all the girls on social media have big butts. Let me get a big butt, too, so I could be like everybody else and everybody like me. No, it was an insecurity I had within myself, which was my butt. And I got it fixed. My teeth always been my biggest inse insecurity, which is why I got braces. When I got my braces off, my um, I never wore my retainer, so my teeth were shifting. So I got my teeth done. But I feel like investing in your smile, I'm going a, I'm to a make y'all want to do that. Like, I'm going to influence y'all to do that. You don't have to do the body. But I feel like the smile is very important. Like, investing in your smile is so important because that's the first thing somebody sees when they're talking to you. Like, your teeth, your smile says everything about you. Believe it or not, but people judge you based off your smile. If you got some fucked up teeth, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Okay, go get that fit. Go get that fit. You know what go I'm do, saying? You better go do um, care credit. <laughs> yeah, care go. credit. Invest in your smile is very important. A booty is not important. Titties not important. Mm -hmm. Lip injection is not important. That smile is important. Yes, I feel like your smile tells everything about you. Yes. What kind of person you are, mm -hmm. everything. Invest in your smile. That's one thing I can't say. Go get some veneers if you need them. Or some braces. Okay, so I had another question too. You see the statement that Erica Banks had made, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, did you agree on what she said? She was saying that oh, 
you know, you you gotta you gotta have a BBL to be in the section with her and look a certain way. In my opinion, I feel like a lot of girls on social media really do act like that, but they just don't say it. But she just brought it to the light, and the way she brought it out was very like you know negative. It was very distasteful. But how do you feel about that? I feel like it was very messed up to say. Like I would never judge like. Majority of my friends don't have their bodies done and I would never judge them and say, oh, you can't hang out with me because your body is not done. Yes, you, I want you to look presentable. Of course, come out cute, girl. Don't come out looking any type of way. Get your makeup done, get your hair done, make sure your nails fixed, then put on something cute before you come out with me. Your body, I would never like judge a woman, a woman based off her body and let that determine if she can hang out with me or not. Like that, honestly, that was like, Maybe she said it wrong, I don't know, but it was messed up. I didn't like that at all. Like, cause like, what about, she had a BBL. What about before the BBL? Right. So, before the BBL, you couldn't be in certain people's sections? No, I'm pretty sure nobody was doing her like that. You know? So I don't know. I personally didn't like it. Do I feel bad when I let other, besides my hairstylist, do my hair? I wanna say I feel bad, but like nine times out of 10, I'd be regretting it. <laughs> I had a bad situation while well, I let somebody do my hair and I freaking regret it. But the other people that do my hair besides her, I don't feel bad because they always do my hair. If she's not around, if I'm in their city, like Atlanta, I have a hairstylist in Atlanta, she will do my hair, I don't feel bad. But out here, 10 times out of 10, I would not let anybody else touch my hair. And me, I don't feel bad when my clients go to someone else to get their hair done because I'm not always available. Mm -hmm. But I would do, like, I'm here in Houston, I would do my own hair if she's not available. Yeah. I wouldn't go to another hairstylist. I'm like, I guess you can't say I'm picky. I would take a wig off so fast if I don't like it. Advice on being a boss. Ooh, advice on being a boss. Being a boss doesn't always have to do with having money and having your own business and stuff. Of course, that comes with it. But I feel like being a boss bitch is like, like she said, keeping yourself up, being confident within yourself. Um, not caring what other people have to say about you, living your life for you. And being consistent. And being consistent in life, not giving up, not being a lazy bitch. Boss bitches are not lazy. Investing in yourself, investing into your work, doing what you gotta do, being happy. Yeah, that's being a boss bitch, I feel like. Okay, what inspired you to do YouTube and what are some tips to start a YouTube channel? Um, I feel like my followers inspire me to do YouTube. Cause I was in like, I was in, make a long story short, I was in a bad car accident, most of you guys know. I posted it on Instagram, you guys told me um, to share my story on YouTube. And me and my boyfriend at the time, we shared our story on YouTube. So that's pretty much what inspired me, was my car accident. I know it sounds weird, but everything happened for a reason, cause look where I'm at now. And advice to get new YouTubers, stay consistent, stay within the trends, and stay true to who you are. Those are three main advice that I give to new YouTubers. One, stay consistent because you're gonna have times where you feel like, okay, my video not hitting enough views, or oh, I'm not making enough money, but if you stay consistent, you will get far, trust me. It took me five years to reach over a million uh, subscribers. I stay consistent. Uh, staying creative and staying within the trends, that's what helps you blow up. And staying true to who you are, being in this industry, sometimes you lose track of that. So, be true to who you are, don't care what nobody got to say. Somebody asked if I plan on getting more tats. I do. But they're not like just random. I'm getting them to cover up certain scars. And I just got this tattoo like two days ago. It's my... Yeah, all, all your tattoos look really good. Thank you. And all my tattoos have meaning. So it's my uncle's birthday that recently passed away. And the reason why I traveled was because of him. He inspired me to travel. And I have a mat and a compass and a plane over here because I love to travel. So it only made sense to get his birthday put right there. Someone said the most funniest moment we had while you were doing my hair. I thought we had so many. Right? One we was just like cracking up. I can't remember it. We had so many, y'all. She's been doing my hair so long. I know there's been moments where we just been in here dying laughing, but I feel like yes. those moments we probably can't share on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't share It'll probably be stuff that we see on Instagram, and I'm like, girl, did you see that? And they be like, yes, girl, and then we start cracking yeah. up. Yeah, we probably can't share it on YouTube, Yeah, now, but we had some funny moments. Um, has she ever suggested a hairstyle you didn't want or like? Hmm. No, because I always let y'all pick y'all own hairstyle. Yeah. Because I don't got time <laughs> for y'all to get home and be like, um, oh, Teresa, I don't, I don't think like I this. like it. Because there's plenty of time where Kiana would get home and be like, um, I should listen to you. I don't like this wig. <laughs> oh, I 
should have listened to you. I don't, I don't like, like this. this. I don't like this. If she do yeah. it just a style, it'd be cute and I'll get it. But it's this one style that she recently did, I don't like. I posted it my close friends. Oh, I know. It's I trending. don't. It's trending. I don't like that hairstyle. I don't know yeah. why. I'm not feeling it neither. I did it twice and I'm like, oh. I don't know. It just gives like little kids. I don't know. It's a little. And it's so crazy. All the hairstyles that me and you don't like, it trends. Yeah, it's like you remember um, that heart. The heart. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The heart. I oh. hated the heart. I was cringing when I seen that fucking heart suit. Like, please. And that's your favorite hairstyle too. They don't. And they fucked it. it up with a with a heart. But it's the hairstyle, y'all. It's curly and it got the two slick middle part things with the curly. And they have the little ponytail. Please stop that mm -hmm. immediately. Did you ever not like a style your stylist did on your hair? This time? I like every hairstyle. It'd be certain wigs I don't like. Yeah. But the hairstyles, she killed them all. This is? Yeah. It's this or that? That one. Yeah. She been annoying. Girl, she took my, I need something to drink. Girl, I'm annoying. Somebody asked, would you, would you help your hairstylist do hair if she ever needed you since you do hair? Yes. Yes, I would definitely help her. I told her, I said, if you ever need help dyeing hair, girl, I'm here. Because I love dyeing wigs. I be having fun. Um, do it be hard to figure out a next hairstyle on you or a person in general? Um, um yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. I remember I used to stick with the same uh -huh. swoop, middle part, swoop, middle part. But I'm starting to be more creative like I was back in the day. Y'all, and I really do got hair. Don't be judging me based off this. <laughs> like, this but is... she has a lot of hair. My hair is long. Y'all know. This is like, this little neck hair. <laughs> Placing HD wigs. If you don't place it right or you have your clients holding each side down tight, it will bubble up in the front. It will do like the little ridges and stuff and that's not cute. No. So, have them motherfuckers. Hold that damn weed down. Watch how she lift my face up, y'all. Yeah, watch this, y'all. <laughs> do you um do you ever get to a point you be like, damn, I don't wanna do YouTube anymore? Um, yes. I feel like us as YouTubers, we all get to that point where it's like we kind of just feel content out. Like, okay, what do I post now? Or damn, mm -hmm. I'm tired of doing this. We all have those moments. I've had a few of them, but I don't see myself stopping. Any big YouTubers you used to um, watch before you became a YouTuber? Or no, I didn't watch any YouTubers before starting YouTube. I didn't know anything. I used to watch YouTube, but like I used to watch music videos on YouTube or like DIYs the year I started. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know much about YouTubers and stuff until I started studying YouTube and realized, like, okay, we can't get paid off this. Who I used to watch on YouTube? What made me start watching like YouTube and stuff was Queen Naja. Mm, Christmas I, Queen. Yeah, I used to watch her on Facebook and then she created a YouTube channel. I'm like, oh shit. I even was watching like some of your cooking videos. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to start back doing those. You was cooking for someone at your house. I thought Either Tyler, Tyler or Brian. Yeah, look at that lace, Tenor. Yeah. I should have seen it before. Yeah. Ooh, baby. When I first started doing your hair, you mm -hmm. used to make me put the wig low. Like lower? So, yeah. You used to make me want to hide your forehead, but now you want I your forehead. Yeah. You, you know what's funny? Uh -huh. I've been embracing my forehead more, and people be saying something about my forehead a lot. For real? They're like, girl, you got all that forehead. I'm oh, like, dang, y'all wasn't saying this before, but I'm like, okay, maybe it's because I'm putting my front nose back more. But you can tell when someone have a lot of hair when they have big forehead. Mm hmm. I got a big ass for it. Y'all just seen it? Mm. They didn't see it because I put the cap a little lower. That forehead did. Yeah. I but hate I my forehead. you show your forehead though. I don't know why she likes that forehead, y'all. That forehead is disrespectful. You know, I always tell you that. It's so big. Embrace it. Cause you see Rihanna be showing her stuff. I feel like Rihanna did something to her hairline cause her forehead not that big no more. You she think did so? something, yes. Cause she been wearing her real hair like what weave and stuff. And her forehead is much smaller now. I don't know. Whatever you, you did, sis, let me know. 
What can you do to your forehead? You could do a forehead reduction. Really? Mm -hmm. I think Black China did that, or Tyga, one of them. But you could do a forehead reduction. I'll do Black China because Black China is going to be me. Mm-hmm. Non-surgical. Call me Dr. Certified. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be a facelift, y'all. Mm-hmm. Book me. Book her. $700 session. Yeah. An eyebrow. An eyebrow. <laughs> so, oh, what is that, $1,400? Yeah. If you want a facelift. Wig not included. And I do forehead too. Mm hmm. She does forehead clearly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> snatch your wigs. Like, put your wig super tight and it will snatch your face. Only if you like that look though. I don't think everybody like that. Not look. everybody like that. Me? You love it. I'm gonna go off. Once I started doing your hair, I started learning a lot about like being a hairstylist. Really? Yes, because it's not about what I like. Mm -hmm. It's about what you like and I learned that from you because I be wanting the baby hairs like a certain way But that's not how you like it. Oh, so yeah, I gotta do what you want. Cause yeah. it's your hair and that's how you keep people coming to you too. Yeah, cuz like she actually do what I like I showed her a picture She actually did was on the picture. That's something I like about you too Like I would show her a picture y'all and she would do it exactly like the picture like she's not one of those hairstylists that do it her way Yeah, like, she would do it like the picture but mixing her sauce. She don't do that. I love that yeah, and you know so crazy. I used to do that. Like mixing your own sauce. Yeah, and I used to be like, my client would show me how they want their hair. Just because I don't like it, I'm not gonna want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn that, like, no, it's not about what I like. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like some hairstylists be trying to do whatever they want just to get content for their page, but exactly. it's not really. And I feel like once we start doing what the clients want, that's like trying different stuff, mm -hmm. and that brings more attention to your page. And they gonna come back like yeah. he did exactly what I wanted. I be feeling like all YouTubers be having kids and stuff like that. Did you like ever thought about? Oh damn, I think I want a baby. Absolutely. 